fractures I see a comment show that bands like a master You were scared that you fell I'm a rap Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order. Welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial, guys. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys everything you need to know about Z-Depth and Depth Maps and how to use them and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial, guys. So you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is a Depth Map or a Depth Mat or Depth Pass? Whatever you guys want to call them, really. We're just gonna call them the Depth Pass or whatever. Um, this is the Depth Pass. Basically, if you're unfamiliar with it, it's essentially like this. Basically, you can have effects only show up um, at a certain like distance from the camera or the Z distance, you know? So like you can have effects show up only on the white spots and not the black spots or like the other way around, whichever you want. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So before we get into it, I just want to let you know guys that depth passes and depth mats can only be obtained through certain programs and software. So certain like games like CSGO, Call of Duty, um, and some other few games, I think Rocket League and any game that really has reshade really can use a depth map. But yeah, basically you can't get a depth pass on every single clip you have so if you just have a random like irl footage you can't turn it into a depth pass there is ai being created that can like do it i've heard of like google doing this already but uh for now you can't really do it without special software so uh if you have like cinema 4d or blender i'm pretty sure you can render depth passes in there but uh if you do have a depth clip already and you're wondering how the hell do i use it well this is the right tutorial so when it comes to video game editing depth passes are a little bit different for example here on csgo as you can see the models are also on the green screen layer while as on Call of Duty, the models do not show up on the green screen layer. So that's a different thing that you got to work with, which I'll show you how to work with it. So let's start off with CSGO. You can be across the globe and still be out in my mind. They all say that I should. So CSGO. The order you want to put your clips in is really simple. You want the green screen to be underneath the depth clip. And to use the depth clip, we're going to make a new adjustment layer. So right click, new adjustment layer. Once the adjustment layer is underneath the depth layer, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to enable your little, your little mats thing. So to do that, go to the very bottom left corner of your After Effects. And you're just going to want to click the middle button. And then you should notice these settings pop up here. So once you get these settings over here, you're going to want to click on this button right here. And then you're going to want to select either Luma Matte or Luma Inverted Matte. You're also going to want to key out the green screen clip. So I use Key Light for this. So I have a preset for Key Light. So this is my Key Light preset here. Um, you're just going to click this eyedropper tool. Select the green background or whatever. And then go to Screen Matte. And then make this around 28 to like 30-ish. You know, just somewhere around there. And this will basically just soften the edges. Almost like anti-aliasing. Once your green screen is keyed out. And you have the depth map on the top. The adjustment layer below it. Green screen below it. And world layer at the very bottom. Now you're ready to start adding effects. So if we click on this adjustment layer. We can add any effect we want. So for example, we'll just add the fill effect and as you can see it's working perfectly fine now if you wanted to go the other way around you can select luma mats or luma inverted now depth maps they're either either white is closer or black is closer basically sometimes they can be inverted so you just want to change it from luma mat or luma inverted mat depending on what you're going for so as you can see our depth map is working perfectly fine as you can see the models in the far back are being affected by the depth map while the gun in front is not being affected and this applies this works for any effect by the way guys you can literally use any effect you want so if you want to add uh let's say psycho blobs if you want to add psycho blobs on the z depth you can so as you guys can see we got psycho blobs on the z depth i have no idea why you would ever want to do this i mean i've probably done it before but nevertheless it's there if you want to do it you can be across the globe and still be out in my mind so that's how to do Z-Depth in CSGO. Now I'm going to show you how to do Z-Depth in Call of Duty. So on Call of Duty, uh, this one's a little different. You want the green screen to be on the very top of everything. You want the green screen to be on the very top. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to add key light here. Select the green thing. And then here on Call of Duty, another different thing about Call of Duty than CSGO is you can actually separate the players too. So this is what I mean by separating the players in Call of Duty using T6GR. You can separate the players. And if you're wondering how do I get the players on the actual players layer, it's really simple. You're going to want to duplicate your world layer. 
so we duplicated the world layer here and then we want to select luma mats on the world layer also make sure to hide the players layer otherwise it's going to be covering it and you won't be able to see it but as you guys can see we got the players working on the players layer now the next thing i like to do after i make the players on their own layer is i like to pre-compose it so we're just going to select it i'll call it players one and then the next part is the exact same as CSGO. We're going to create an adjustment layer. We're going to put the adjustment layer underneath the depth layer. And then you're going to select Luma mats or Luma inverted mat, depending on what you want. And as you guys can see, we got a working clip right here. As you can see, the players are on their own clip. The world layer is on its own layer. The gun's on its own layer. And the depth map is on its own adjustment layer. So you, you have total control over your clip here. So we can add any effect we want. For example, we can add camera lens blur if you want to do a basic lens blur effect. So there we go, we got a basic lens bore, and that's about everything on Call of Duty. I mean, I think this bore looks pretty nice, but obviously you can really do any effect you want onto it. Um, and the same thing is the exact same for COD 4 and other games. You just gotta, de it just depends if the models are on the green screen layer. If the models aren't on the green screen layer, then you gotta do the other method. But uh, it works vice versa. But yeah, that's that. Now let's say you want to adjust the distance on the depth layer. Let's say you only want the effect layer to be at the very far back or the very, very close to the camera. To change the distance, we're going to make sure we have our uh, depth layer selected and soloed. So I have my depth layer soloed here. And then if it's not already black and white because COD 4 and I believe MW3 and other games, they'll sometimes record in orange. Uh, if that happens, you can just add the black and white effect to fix it or whatever. Uh, but once you do that or whatever, if it's already black and white, we're just going to add the levels effect. And then on the levels effect, you want to play with output black and output white. So if you want to, let's say you want the depth layer to be like this, for example. If you want it to be really close or really far, you can just mess around with the settings until you get something you like. And that's the simplest way to do depth maps. This is how I do depth maps. Obviously, everyone's going to do it differently. But uh, the cool thing about what I, why I like using the adjustment layer method is you can actually do multiple depth adjustment layers on top of each other. So if you want a blur at the very front and a blur at the very back, but you want it to be clear in the middle, you can do that. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if you enjoy it. I make tutorials almost every day and stream almost every day so yeah guys also i just want to announce that we got a new sponsor for the channel x gamer so if you want to cop some x gamer a link will be in the description make sure to use code out of order for a discount and yeah guys and my editing pack is still for sale too so if you want to buy a bunch of presets and project files and other cool stuff make sure to check out my editing pack down in the description too but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one guys Peace.